Hello, my name is Mr. Lloyd. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve a right angle triangle using Pythagoras theorem. But before we get started, make sure you have a calculator present. Now, let's look at a right angle triangle. How do we identify a right angle triangle? By the right angle. Now, let's label the triangle. The longest side is C, the height of the triangle is A, and the base of the triangle is B. Now based on Pythagoras, he states that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And this is a general formula for a right angle triangle. Now with this formula, let's solve for C. C would equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now from this formula, I'm going to give a a value and b a value and solve for c. So for example, if I say a is equals to 5 meters and b is equals to 10 meters, we're going to now solve for c. Now from the formula as I mentioned before, c is equals to the square root of a squared plus b squared we know we write the formula. C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. And remember, we gave A a value and B a value. So now we go and substitute the value of A and the value of B. So therefore we have the square root of A which is 5, and that is 5 squared, plus B which is 10, square, uh, 10 squared. So now we continue resolving the problem. We have now the square root of 5 squared is 25 and 10 squared is 100. We now go ahead and add 25 and 100 give us 125. Now this is where you need the calculator. Finding the square root of 125. Because of this, the square root of 125 is not a whole number, our answer is an approximation. It's approximately equals to 11. We're going to keep it as a whole number, stating it's an approximation, and the unit is meters. Remember, all the time, whenever the distance are given and we have a unit, your answer must contain that unit. Again, practice your math. Practice makes perfect.